Hello everyone, I'm Nick Fedekwacha here back with another video and today I'm just feeling the mood to make another vlog. It's been actually a month already, if it's true. Let me just check, I think it's been a month already. Holy smokes it is. Time just goes so quick. So, if you guys just look at me, uh, I did got a haircut and I'm just gonna look back to the video where it's conquer stress. Uh, let's just take a, another peek at this dude right here. Yes, wearing the exact same shirt. Um, a little bit more of a, a transition of my sideburns to my head. But anyways, um, that's not what I'm talking about today. But today, um, this is going to be part two of um, the tell the truth and to still talk about the topic about the truth hurts. But uh, I'm not necessarily going to go for it. I think it's more of a convenient way this time. So let's just get right to it before we do. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more constant video updates and uploads, whatever. But uh, here we go. So today's word is forgive. So um, stop feeling angry or resentful toward someone for an offensive flaw or mistake. Now, from my personal perspective wise, um, we're talking about myself and my cousin overall. Uh, if you guys don't know who it is, if you're basically new to the channel, um, it was just like a little story from almost a year ago. Actually, it's in the 21st. Uh, I think it just started where all began and where it just all started. That's what I meant. But anyways, um, I started um, basically posting some pictures of her and and this is a person which is, um, I'm gonna put right in front of the screen. Her name is Domenica. So um, not gonna get intruded with it, but um, I'm just gonna end this topic once I'm actually done with this video but um so basically um I've done some things that were just not right and yeah so I need to be more forgetful to the person that actually um who is my cousin and um uh, I was not in the specific topic or direct of it to actually forgive others including that person of her so I was not like that because I can't just focus on the only person that is just not right. What God wants for me to do is to forgive others and just respect and actually help them no matter what. You can't just always focus on specifically one person. And that was a mistake from last year or almost a year ago since um, the leg and uh, or I was editing the video of it. And um, I just feel like there was so much mistakes going on here and they're just more like um, similar words to it, which is pardon, excuse, absolve, acquit, or let off. You guys know what the rest are. So basically that's why I've struggled back then. And uh, uh, it's just crazy to think about that basically. Um, time already flies so fast or time is flying quick because November 5th is probably the most important day of American history right now, even our world today, which is the election. Um, we need a real leader to be standing up to actually, um, th there's so much going on around this, today's world and country and we just need to step up and pray and just hope for the best of it because I know there's just so much going on and um, it doesn't seem pleasant at all. But uh, we need to forgive people who are basically doing these kind of shenanigans and stuff, including myself like back then. I should have known better, but uh, now um, that's done. But basically, um, it's not about just, I'm just going to give you some like pictures of what I've done back then all the time. So here's some right in the front of the screen. Yeah, as you can see, there was so much of it. And uh, I just don't think it's the right thing to do. So I need to forgive of my own actions towards someone that if I'm like, okay, it's like Beauty and Beast, like, Myself, including her. It's just like, if I focus on that topic too much, it's not going to be the way I just want it. And my family's going to be like, why is he doing this? And I just, I feel like it hurts the Lord's presence and the Lord doesn't want me to do that. So instead, I need to forgive my actions to that person. And yeah, I don't know why, but um, it's a long story. But now, since we're upstate and just we have more people that I support of, like my family relatives, Enrico, Brandon Pitts, everyone else, um, they're besides with me now. And um, because now we're upstate, listen to this, three years, already three years since we moved. 
22nd of September, we've moved. It was a stressful experience, but here we are upstate. Dad lost his job from three years ago, and then 22 occurred. Uh, September, he got the job, and he started working in October, which is outstanding, which is unbelievable. It, it just felt like it was a sign of relief. That That's the best part about it. And there's nothing you can go on wrong with it. Uh, Mom is home for our older brother, Jordan. Um, he started a daycare program or started a program, um, I think, a month ago. Yeah, I think probably so. Yeah, a month. Or no, I would say a few weeks ago. I would probably say that. Because um, school started and then after that, Jordan went to program for like one week after or two weeks after since school occurred or school started, which is already crazy to think about it. And um, it's already a month later since I've done a vlog. And um, here I am um, trying to conclude this um, topic, which is the truth hurts part two. But I feel like the title of this video is like forgiveness. Like you want to forgive other people that what you've done wrong. Like I forgive Enrico to his kid. Domenica, and um, he would totally understood what I'm talking about. Um, and um, yeah, so that was done and trying to not to be reckless also as well, not to post any pictures of her in the web or in the internet because uh, today's country and today's world is scary and I just don't want to get into trouble. And um, yeah, so that's why we want to forgive and do the right things every time when it comes to hanging out or doing really good things or having like a little party or whatever it is. I'm just spinning around just to get a little bit of work lips. But anyways, um, that's why I'm going to stop talking about um, about it. But uh, let's get to the more important topics of things. So basically, um, in the 26th of October... We're going to be competing a 5K race. This is the reach race. So it's like a charity uh, for Up Under Life. That would just basically gives you like what me and my brother are going to be doing in the October of the 26th, which is going to be absolutely outstanding. Five mile race. We have never done a five mile race. And besides of that, it's been like since we competed a race since almost 10 years ago, 2016 of October. Isn't that just insane or loosey to think about it because me and my brother were like skinny like not extremely skinny but just skinny like with skinny fat and uh, yeah not as muscular but now now uh, with maturity and the right eating the right exercising and routine it's just like it's in a whole new level so that's what me and my brother are super duper excited to do it and and my brother told me to lose a little more weight because I like weigh 195 and or 197. So I need to cut down a little weight, as you can tell my face structure. And I want to look good. So anyways, um, that's what I'm gonna about to do. I'm going to lose a little more weight. Be under 190 pounds. So somewhere sitting around like mid-180s again. I feel like that's the sweet spot I want to hit about. But uh, let's talk about content otherwise for the 2024 channel. Because I know it's been lackluster this year. Because I've been going through a lot, like what I told you guys about it. And um, yeah, I know it wasn't pretty, but uh, we just forget about it and just move on from it. And trying to forgive other people of, like, I should have forgiven myself and to others too of my actions and not be reckless. So yeah. So anyways, back to the 2024 content of it. So we are planning to play games overall that are just... I would not say casual. I would just say like almost like long term. So like emulators like Dolphin emulator, um, DS and 3DS emulator games. My brother just like to hit the flashback of even including myself, um, Puzzle Dragons, Mario Edition with it too. So on the 3DS, I just personally think it's just a amazing memory of playing that game. Uh, our DS or 3DS in that closet over there or inside in there. It's just so fun to play. It's just, it takes a little time to get used to it because since I played back in the first time, almost like in 2018 since the last time I played it, which is crazy to think about, like six years already. Time flies, I know. But uh, 
I'm going to get used to it. I'm going to start playing again. Maybe I could do a walkthrough for you guys. And um, I've heard like Lego games I want to play and do some walkthroughs. So maybe personally walkthroughs with certain games that we love to personally play, like Transformers Fall of Cybertron or War for Cybertron. It's just like the right direction to go for. Um, but um, that's our topic to hit forward to. So anyways, um, during of not posting any videos or live streams or any updated content, public overall or for the public of this channel i've basically edited out um some like pop warner ironic games for the 10u of the twins 24 channel which i'm actually super excited to keep going forward to so this week they're gonna basically go away two straight weeks and then of course they're gonna be headed to the playoffs probably at home if they keep winning it out uh, we'll get another going here. So we basically record mainly more on the 10U of the kids playing. And Steve Ballard is the coach, which is unbelievable. He's doing an amazing job. And that's the reason why he's dropped out the team of the Varsity Wildcats. Just to basically go out and help these kids to win more games and help to provide great service for these kids to play football, which is their favorite sport overall. So, um, right to the playlist. So this is what I've been basically talking about. So we have the um, the Pop Warner. So it started with all with this video right here. So it was the championship. And after that, there was nothing else to do. But this was not the first game overall. This was Indian River, right? And then after that, was Watertown and these were just blowouts overall. It was just unbelievable of um how much Steve, like a former coordinator or coach or current coach of the Pop Warner Cats can do or he can do cuz he's a great leader. He just helps to bring the team overall to new heights and um he said, me and my brother are just big helps overall or big helpers overall because um, majority is actually this year compared to last year because last year um, we just support them. But now this is even bigger because now every time we tend to one of their games, um, I bring this camera overall and we do like 1080p 60 frame uh, video capturing of the entire game and I just put the full game and not the highlights because it would take a little more work to like crop in and out um, some of the footage of the video overall but um, but that's the good upside about the full games of it because Steve like probably like after the end of the school day he just go back to his home and just study or Film studies the entire game of it, and um, basically, he just tells his kids or tell the entire football team what to improve upon and not do whatever mistakes they have done before and improve upon. So hopefully that will bring them back-to-back -back champs once again, not only from the 9U, but the 10U. Hopefully, but there's like bigger kids since moving up to a new level. And it's... It's a whole new experience, but this is good experience. So I'm actually super stoked of what this 10U Pop Warner Wildcats team can mainly do in the playoffs. We'll just wait and see and find out. If you guys go to have a little bit of a recap, um, 2024 content for live streamers coming back or like specific uploads like games like Lego Star Wars or um, we're talking about emulator games, 3DS, DS games. We, all that, uh, we'll just find out what we can do for the 2024 concert channel while we wait for another specific um, Fenty Quadro event in the future over I got something over here. All right, there we go. So that's what I'm going to do. Just um, give you guys more content in the future. And until then, we'll wait for another gathering or anything with the Fenty Quadro family and we'll give it to you guys. We're super duper excited and um, I will do it right this time around and not do it for the wrong reasons and do it for the right reasons this time. And just forgive other people from your actions to theirs and uh, and don't make them feel bad for themselves, even including yours too, So, which is me. 
So I can wait to be more um, alert and more open-minded of what I'm doing in life overall, despite times are difficult right now. I just feel like that's going to bring a little more attention to everyone else, including myself in general too. So even the way I'm working in the church, um, unfortunately it's like three more months and uh, that should be basically it. And it's sad to think about, but we'll move on and just find other places to work or find a new job and for a specific long term. And I can wait for it. So anyways, this will sum up to wrap up this video over here. Um, um, yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to smash the like button and hit the notification bell for more constant video uploads or every specific content that we've done in this channel or doing this channel right now. But be sure to like the video, comment, do the show, share your friends. Subscribe for more, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Let's see what we get this time. Can we get the fingers? Oh, we got it. Good. Take care. Yeah.